Well, it's time. Episode 400. Wow. Thanks, Fraser Ramsey. We have to blame somebody. And the, the guy over there in Edinburgh, Scotland, who gave us the graphic one Thursday afternoon. Oh, I've told that long story too many times. Anyway, welcome. Today, we're going to revisit our very popular topic, SEO Tips Tuesday, and we talked about searches near me. So when someone goes into Google and they say, tire repair near me, they're not looking for the guy in Detroit, unless they're in Detroit. So, a big part of getting this done and making this work will be in this video, and let's go have a look. Hey, the Geyer Cook Report has got some SEO tips for you. The SEO tips that we've got for today, if you go to the Geyer Cook Report .podbean com, and then look for the one about local search, there near me is, seems to be the buzzword, and let's see how that works. Yes, the link, because we went to the Geyer Cook Report .podbean.com. It'll look just like this one, this graphic over here. My wife said, don't point with your finger because sometimes you go the wrong way. But we know this is the way. Anyway, the tips today for SEO Tips Tuesday come from going to the com and clicking on the red link that you see there, which is going to say, the Guy or Cook Report, SEO Tips Tuesday, with today's day. You click on it, and as I often say, bazinga, there you are. How to rank for near me local search terms. That's the post that we're going to examine today, and then show what I've done as, I guess you'd say, gravy on the potatoes, because he doesn't do what I did. So let's see what he did. Local Visibility System, and just a recent post, How to Rank for Near Me Local Search Terms. Uh, wouldn't that be nice? If your local search is where your brick and mortar is, you're ser providing service not to Dallas, Texas, but to where you're at. Okay? So near me is a popular search term. So if you're a dentist, as they're shown in this example, the second one that comes up, when you go into Google Maps, would be dentist near me, when it automatically puts in there where the search terms are at. So, in going down through this list, he talks about how do you do this, and then what happens if the competition jump on the near me bad way, and then basically flood it. Okay, well, they're going to do that. But here's how you win. Understands the me part of near me is a specific place, and not just another keyword target. So, if you were to go internet marketing services near me, maybe you might want to go with a different variation of that. And there's some samples he shows best internet marketing service near me and find internet marketing service near me okay so go through his list of suggestions and each one of them bears reading he's got some good stuff here that they've really done their work right take a look at each of these and learn and grow and build a better local search near me as a result. Now, the pearl in the oyster, as I said at the start of this, there's something that he's not done that I did. If you go back to the show notes, and it says, I use Google My Business, and the free web purge that you get from Google My Business, and I'll show you the link to that, and it comes up like this, okay? Web designer in Walla Walla, okay? Internet marketing service, don't even see it. So, where's the magic? Let me show you. 
So we go up here, open a new tab. And remember that term, best internet marketing services near me. Okay, now I'm already logged into Google. There's the ad. Okay. There's the results. So let me see more places. Bazinga. My company, because I'm sitting at the location, I'm the closest to that location, so I come up first. Right? So in terms of Google Maps, which is covered, as you can see in this, um, huh. Well, anyway, oh, there it is. I'm not zoomed in right. Something to do with screen share. But you can see the number of dots there. Internet marketing services near me. And I'm the first on the list. I like that. So by using that page, and we'll go back to the show notes, that we referenced comes from logging into Google My Business and get that free listing and make the most of that. So when you log into Google My Business, it'll start off like this and make the most of that free listing. Follow the Start Now link. Give them a call. 844-491-9600. And do what they say to do. Be sure to ask them about your free website. And that's what you're going to have is a, I guess, a compliment to the near me local search things. And that's what you're trying to do. And that's how it'll get done. Remember that link if you go to the Guy or Cook Report dot podbean dot com gonna look like this. And then you go to that link right there. If you're on YouTube, you can see it's on youtube dot com whack guy or cook. Then click on today's date and that video will come up. Okay? Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. So we want you to consider taking a look at those links. And like I said, you get there if you go to the guyrcookreport.podbean.com. It's going to look just like what you're seeing right here. And hopefully that will help you with your searches for when somebody does, I want to find your company your website that's near me and so this information should make that happen and furthermore when we get this edited then you can go to link for today's episode of the guy or cook report right there like you see it on the guy or com link and that will give you the youtube version of today's episode. Once I get it all edited and put together, I'll have it uploaded. And it should, by the time you're hearing this, it should be there live. So, you have a great week. Have a bonus of conversions. The patrons that watch our episodes will sure appreciate your effort. Thank you so much to our patrons. And on that note, oh, I'm scrolling down too far. So there you have it. That's the episode number 400, if we're keeping count. And so I thank you for taking time out of your day. Hope you have a great week, that the weather warms up in Walla Walla. Man, was it cold yesterday. And so, oh, did I tell you how this works? Let me insert that right here. Hi, in honor of its 400th episode. Oh my God, I've done this 400 times. Anyway. This is how it works, okay? You go to the com. It'll look like this. Right. 
The GuyerCookReport.podbean.com will look like this. It'll have today's episode. If the date is inc included right here, and this red text goes to blog.guyercookonlineservices.com, and the reason we've got Podbean set up is it takes the audio and the link to the video. You'll scroll down here in the link for today's episode of the Gary Cook Report as it's shown on YouTube. Once I get the edits done, it'll be there. Now, go here first, and then when you click on the red link, it goes to blog.guyercookonlineservices.com, like that bazinga. You're looking at the show notes. Take a look at those. Um, this is your homework, if it were. And the homework is so that at 3 o'clock Greenwich Mean Time, 7 a.m. in Seattle, we're going to go to https colon whack whack appear dot n slant v domain hosting inc. And we'll talk about it. Okay. The show is not recorded. So if there's pearls in that oyster and the discussion, for instance, this one's talking about SEO tips. You'll want to be there at 3 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time, or you'll miss what's talked about. So thanks for watching. That's how we do it. And for all the folks that expect to see this as a live video, probably won't happen. Um, that's just that's how we roll. We're going to have that homework, the link I just showed you, and then we're going to talk about it at 3 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. So that wraps up episode. 400. Wow. I'll see you tomorrow. It's a wrap.